This is the latest addition to my family. It's an Eco Orlan Model 25 wood gasification boiler. It's been installed and running for about a month now. Um, previously I had a, an old Nemco uh, wood-fired boiler. Uh, very inefficient, a lot of smoke. Um, and uh, I finally sprung a couple leaks that I could not repair and so I decided to uh, get this unit. I looked at them for several years and uh, since I couldn't repair the boiler I had, uh, I decided it was time to, to upgrade. I'll give you a tour of my facility here and uh, we'll start I guess over here. Uh, this is a Takagi TK1 uh, propane fired tankless water heater and I've had it many years now and it works really great uh, during the summer when I don't have a wood fired boiler going uh, I just switch a couple valves, turn the switch on and uh, this provides all the hot water I need uh, with a new boiler I don't know how it's gonna uh, play out uh, this may not be used again just the way it's, uh, things are set up now uh, down here I have a generator that I purchased off a, a friend of mine many years back and uh, as you can see Jim it's still in good shape just got her all cleaned up ran it the other day charged the fields and of course I repainted the top of the board because it was getting kind of ugly and I don't have the fancy log that Jim did but I just right on the bottom here when I use it and when I change oil and uh, it's convenient and I can see how many times I run the generator and for, for what use and just handy. And this will go back to being a shelf as soon as I get done with this video. But I've used this numerous times now, uh, up to a day, day and a half, depending on the, the situation with the electrical power out here. Okay. Coming back to the boiler, uh, brief tour. Up here is the controller. It's, it's microprocessor controlled. Uh, I can set the temperature of the boiler here. I can go up. I can go back down. Turn it down for right now. So I can hear me talking. Uh, load the firewood here, up here. Uh, this is a bypass lever. Uh, the way they have it set up, you cannot open the door unless this bypass is pushed like so. Then you can open the door, which I'll do in a bit. Shut that like so. Down below is where the ash is. You get very little ash. Uh, over a week's time, I'll get maybe a quart, quart and a half of ashes, very fine powder. Everything's burned up. If you do any uh, investigation on gasification boilers, they burn at 2,000 degrees and everything is just incinerated. It's uh, quite impressive. Uh, this boiler compared to my old uh, unit uh, uses up to this point at least 50% less wood. Um, and with that, when I'm talking about wood, I, I guess I'll come over here. Uh, under this structure um, is a 300 gallon uh, propane tank which was uh, modified had a whole bunch of fittings and s stuff uh, installed by the dealer um, heavily insulated I got about a foot of insulation around this thing and uh, that serves as a storage tank and the, the boiler heats water pumps it to this storage tank and then as the house calls for heat it draws uh, water off this tank um, I had a little bit of space up above here uh, where I could st uh, stack firewood and this holds about uh, each compartment holds about three quarters of uh, a face quarter of wood and uh, each compartment uh, will last me about two weeks uh, that section down there I, I put in uh, and filled it up uh, uh, the day before Christmas and uh, here we're at the 29th of uh, December and that's how much wood I've used. Uh, very efficient and uh, very pleased on how the boiling's working so far. 
back to the firewood for just a bit. Um, what the manufacturer recommends is to uh, store your firewood cut and split and stacked uh, covered for uh, two years. And after two years, uh, to bring it in and stack it and let it dry for a couple weeks inside where it's warm. Um, there are three separate air adjustments on the stove and everything is based on the moisture content of the, wa uh, the wood. Uh, and just to show you, this is a piece of wood I just, just brought in from outside. This wood um, has been cut, split, stacked, and covered for about two years. And you can see here by my little meter that the moisture content is about 19%. So that means that uh, about one-fifth of this piece of wood is water. And uh, there's some good information on the web about uh, how many gallons of water uh, you put up the chimney with uh, wood that's either wet or has high moisture. Um, so I'll pull this meter out, and again, you can see it's 19% moisture. Now this wood here has been in, the, in here about the rest of the wood anyway. Uh, this has been in here about three weeks. Uh, comes from the same pile, same lot. And I'll just take these prongs and push them in the woods area again. So you, you see it, it's varying between zero and one percent. Uh, so that is a dramatic difference uh, as far as the efficiency of the stove. And um, again, I have a got it in separate two compartments and I, I just go from one side to the other and uh, it's here again I just brought in it dries out really quick uh, surprisingly get back in here again in just a few days uh, the moisture kind of comes right down and find another piece of wood here just to see if we can get some kind of moisture level and then between zero and one percent it dries out really quick and most of the bark is coming off this wood it's been it's been down so long and again the boiler is going to flush itself and it shuts itself down okay back around here uh, the hot water from the boiler comes up off the top uh, there's a a gauge you can see the pressure and the temperature of the boiler at the moment which I, again I can control by the microprocessor um, an air valve lets any air out of the system this is a low water uh, something switch if for some reason uh, the water level goes down in the boiler uh, that switch is hooked into the controller and the system will shut down uh, hot water from the boiler again comes across here and uh, is sent down to the tank. Uh, over here is a is a mixing valve and uh, the deal with these gasification boilers is uh, you're supposed to keep them at a minimum temperature so they don't uh, have condensation inside which will ultimately lead them to, to rust out. So this it maintains 140 some odd degrees inside the boiler at all times and the, the water just circulates around uh, from the top of the boiler to the bottom of the boiler uh, a certain amount just to maintain temperature. Uh, down the bottom is what they call a Danfoss valve and this will not allow uh, cold water to go into the boiler. It's basically got a, like an automobile thermostat inside and uh, unless the, the water temperature is at a certain level um, it will not open. Uh, once you get it up to 145 or something in that range, it opens up and lets water circulate to the tank. That's a, a Tayco uh, circulator pump, runs all the time, keeping water going through the, the system. To the tank, rather. Uh, let me see here. Back there is my uh, expansion tank. I went up one size from the recommended level just to have a, a comfort factor if things got a little too hot or whatever just a little more room for expansion 